Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 11th of 2022. Well, it is titled a space station crosses a busy sun. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our sun in the background there. And we can see that it is indeed quite busy. It's a very active sun. Now we can tell this by looking around the edges and seeing the large number of prominences present along the edges. And those are areas where our, the sun's magnetic field has lifted material off the sun's surface. A very intense prominence could become a flare and filling material out uh, into space. A milder one will just lift the material up and then it will rain back down on the surface of the sun. Up above we can see a sunspot and a number of few spot sunspots there one larger one and a number of smaller ones. Sunspots are darker and therefore cooler areas on the sun's surface. And they are signs of activity. That's where the magnetic field has become most concentrated and has therefore cooled off the energy coming from the sun and makes it a little bit cooler in those regions. And we can also see some of the long filaments again associated with activity on the sun. Now, of course, the interesting thing that we see here is the uh, continuous images of the space station going across the lower portion of the sun here. And that is the International Space Station, which orbits the Earth about once every 90 minutes. And we can see that in the sky if you look for it uh, just after sunrise, just before sunrise, when it is able to still be reflecting light and visible in the sky. Of course, once it gets too dark, it will no longer be illuminated by the sun either, because it is in a relatively low Earth orbit and is shielded and shadowed by the Earth. However, here we're seeing it as it happened to pass in front of the sun. And that is uh, will happen. You have to plan the location very well to know when this will occur. Knowing that the space station will be visible in a specific area is a good start. But if you want to try to photograph it crossing something like this, you really have to have a exact image, exact timing as to when you want to be able to uh, get that image. So you have to know exactly when not only the, the space station will be visible, but when it will be visible while the sun is in that exact same spot. And here in this image, it's actually a several images put together, multiple images of the space station that were taken and separate images of the sun to show all of the detail. So that combined shows us all of the detail on the active sun, in addition to the transit of the International Space Station across the face of the sun. So that was our picture of the day for April 11th of 2022. It was titled A Space Station Crosses a Busy Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Cosmic Seahorse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class. <laughs>